welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'll be showing off this micro fortune free crop farm. So basically, um, if you hit any crop, that being wheat, carrots, potatoes or beetroot, with a fortune free anything like pickaxe, hoe, shovel, whatever, um, you get more uh, of the crop per you know, hit. So um, what we've got going on here is very simple like uh, you have an observer and two dispensers like uh, this is the bare minimum I could add a third one but this is this will most of the time in, uh, instantly grow your crops so basically um, when you place the carrot down the observer sees the carrot and he'll send out, sends out a signal uh, to the dispensers and uh, yeah then the dispensers will grow it also, you do have, I have a water source block underneath uh, that uh, dispenser. Uh, you could also like put it there, depending on like whatever. And these dispensers can and observer. This can just like be in any orientation. Like it doesn't have to be observer there on two dispensers there and there. You could have that dispenser over here, depending on your like base layout or uh, dispenser here and you know here and uh, on top or Observer at the back, dispenser to the left, and dispenser to the right, or uh, observer to the back, dispenser to the left, and dispenser on top. And you don't even need two dispensers. This is just like the fastest way. It also works with one dispenser because uh, the observer detects the carrot being grown. Um, so is when it gets bone meal. So it sends out another signal. So it it's a little bit slower, but it still works. So yeah. Um, let me just go into game mode. Yeah, you all want a source of bone meal for this, but that's not too difficult yet. And so you just hit it with your foot. Look, five from one carrot. So yeah, you're getting a lot more carrots for your bone meal. So this is probably probably the most effect, uh, the effect most uh, resource effective way to. Uh, get a, a large amount of carrots, wheat or potatoes in a short period of time. Um, or beetroot if you are a weirdo and you want beetroot. Like, seriously, with that just a short conversation I got 64 carrots and um, this isn't even as effective as it could be. If you're playing Minecraft Java, because this works on Minecraft Bedrock and Java, um, you would uh, be able uh, to put the carrots in your offhand and have your hoe in your main hand and then just right click, left click, right click, left click. Um, now I just want to double check this before I end the video. Uh, give PC Wheat seeds. Do you actually get more? Uh, no. So for wheat, you just get multiple seeds. Um, which, yeah, that's a bit stupid. Uh, I don't know why you, you get mul why I think else you get multiple off with fortune, but wheat. It, you just get eight up, you still only get one of them no matter what. So yeah, but it, you can see this does work with wheat. Um, even though all, the only extra thing you're going to get with fortune is seed, so you could just literally just hold... Uh, I think Silent Whisperer's design would be a bit better uh, because that's a, that for wheat because that's a little bit faster. Uh, but that, uh, do, that doesn't let you break it with... Um, doesn't let you break it with your fortune, so it's just like not as uh, resource efficient. Um, pretty... So yeah, um, so this is uh, definitely like the most resource efficient. Um, design like uh, Silent Whisper is designed for like a crop farm 
is a bit bigger and uh, it uses, and I believe it uses like a sticky piston and uh, two, four, six dispensers if I remember correctly and uh, it's not going to give you as many um, back from each potato so it's just like it's also less bone meal efficient so you may want to use this over that but again this is a little bit slower uh, merely for the fact that you have to switch back and forth between uh, the potato, your crop, and your hoe to plant it. But this is definitely um, a really good way, of just like quickly accumulating uh, um, you know uh, crops. Because while it, again, I don't, um, I haven't compared this directly to Italian whisperers. Um, uh, Design that he yet you know, that's you know has a piston just like moving the block up and down and it uh, um, you know automatically harvests it, it and uh, I'm willing to bet this is probably slower uh, at gaining gain new resource but it's still not slow like it's slow uh but not slow um like it's not like this is gonna take you. A lot longer and it's also like more bone meal efficient. Say you don't have a skeleton spawn and say you're just getting your bone meal from skeletons you kill or um, out in the world or like um, converting uh, um, uh, manually harvesting uh, um, moss from a uh, cobblestone generator thing and then just like conveying that into like bone meal say you know if you, so this is like better if you like are limited on bone meal but if you're not limited on bone meal then uh i would probably say go for silent whispers strength. but this is a lot more compact as well and dead, uh, less resource efficient because again this is only, uh the most expensive thing here is this observe and that's only because it costs um one now, of course, I think it's either one or two nether quartz, and that's super easy to get. Just like build a nether portal and just like hop in the nether for a few seconds, and then get some nether quartz there. But and but then again, um, this is also good if you like um, if you like me, where you just like uh, really obsess over getting as much out of all your resources as you can. Um, so yeah, definitely a design I would uh, suggest picking up. Um, for whatever reason you may have, and uh, I think the fact that it is uh, so flexible with like the positioning of the two dispensers and the one observer, or even just having one dispenser, and I don't think ha uh, adding a third dispenser will um, increase its efficiency at all, because uh, as you saw, like it grew those crops uh, pretty much instantly, and when it didn't grow them instantly, it uh, uh did it took less than a second for it to finish growing so yeah pretty fast but not the fastest uh but definitely the most resource efficient and most compact um crop farm i've seen uh so yeah let me know what you think down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in whatever i decide to do next Bye bye